Well, I think the nephrology needs in the whole of the UK have been transformed radically in the last 18 months in that, that we've now got a realisation that about 10% of the population have got renal impairment. And this has come on the back of a new way of, of looking at renal impairment. So we now have a, a novel and more accurate way of, of determining renal function. And now we've realised 10% of the population have it, which has generated a tidal wave, essentially, of new referrals. So how is the map of medicine helping the development of the National Service Framework for renal disease in Wales? Well, within the National Service Framework, we have an agreement that we'll have a, a care pathway uh, by adopted by March of next year. The problem that we have is that although 10% of the population have renal impairment, very few of those will have end-stage renal failure. So we need to select which patients need to be referred appropriately. And we need to manage those who don't need to be referred because we know that their risk factor for in terms of cardiovascular disease is huge because of their renal failure. So we need to have the ones that we don't see treated appropriately and those that we do, do see referred appropriately. And so the whole purpose of the map of medicine and the, and the patient pathway that we've generated through that is to, is to manage that demand. So obviously you're working very closely with primary care on that and you're going to be talking to the conference about increasing collaboration with primary care. Is primary care open to that? I think they are because for the first time now in their GMS contract, renal medicine features. So whereas previously renal medicine was thought to be a, a postgraduate subject that was a bit scary maybe and, and not relevant, this realisation that a huge proportion of their patients, as many renal failure patients as diabetic patients, are sitting within their practice, that has created an urgency and a need for them and so that they're very open to how to manage these patients now that they've been identified because of the consequence of their new contract. So what are the main obstacles to collaboration and how have you overcome them? Well, I think it's, it's managing expectation. It's, it's, it's explaining that we don't need to see everybody, but we need to see the appropriate people with the, uh, the appropriate information. So we're trying to get away from the knee-jerk reaction that any renal impairment means new renal referral because that would swamp the system and that would probably mean that the ones that we do need to see aren't being seen because the system becomes bunged up essentially. So it's really making sure that we get the right people seen at the right time rather than just seeing everybody. So the map can help with your resources? Absolutely, because what we need is, as I said, to make sure that we only see the ones that need to come in. So it really is managing the, uh, the entry and exit of patients from nephrology services. So it's not a management protocol in terms of treatment and diagnosis. It's a management protocol in terms of patient journey, entry and exit through the nephrology services. And so have you been able to gather evidence which is able to prove that to the clinicians and to the other health professionals who are using it? The, the map itself will, will be launched later this year in terms of being rolled out to primary care. What we do have is the evidence of the increasing demand and the inappropriate nature of some referrals. So we know that there's a shortfall, if you like, in the service at the moment. And having launched it, then we will be able to re-audit in terms of the use of the map and also its impact on our service. When will you be rolling out the National Programme for Wales? Well, the Gwent programme is the pilot, if you like, and that will be coming out at the end of the year. When we have evidence that that's working and is effective, with, armed with that strong evidence, then we roll it out across Wales because it will make the acceptance of it in primary care and nephrology services across Wales a lot easier. And are you hoping to gain evidence that it's effective for the patients as well? Well, yes, I think you know, it, the, the patient is at the centre of all of this. And, and as I said, part of the problem now is we think the, the patients that we should see aren't being seen. We know that late referral and an inappropriate referral can translate to poor outcome both in terms of, of the need for renal replacement therapy and the success of renal replacement therapy. So, yes, we're hoping that it will translate to early referral of the appropriate people, slowing progression of their renal disease and so minimising their need for renal replacement therapy. Some teams looking at the map may feel that there's going to be too much work in order to make it um, fit for their purpose, if you like. How mm. difficult has it been for you to make it fit for your purpose? I think that that's a very interesting um, observation if you like and a lot of people you know their, their criticism will always be this makes more work for us and we have limited resources and we're very aware of that but what is clear with renal disease is those patients who don't need to be referred those patients are at high risk of cardiovascular disease those patients are already identified in primary care on other registers stroke registers hypertension registers and the like and primary care is already equipped with the, what they need to give them the appropriate treatment so it's not a new cohort of patients, a new way of looking at patients. Once that comes across, people are very receptive to, to the whole process, I think. And has the whole IT connection worked well? Well, we'll wait and see. I think what we hear from primary care is we want it to be simple, we want it to be on the desktop. 
And so what we've created is, is a fairly superficial looking document. All of the, the, the pathways on one page, it's very simple to access. And so we haven't overburdened it with information. It's not a textbook of, of nephrology in any way. It, it very much is a, a flow of patients through it. So we've kept it simple listening to primary care saying we don't want it to be difficult, we want it to be easy to use. So hopefully it will be adopted and we'll, we'll see its success because of its simplicity. And so hopefully your patients will be happier as a result, they will feel they're being treated more appropriately and quicker. Well I think the outcome measurements, if you look at the impact of renal replacement therapy, these are patients who can't work and, so that, and, and they feel generally unwell. So for any patients that we can delay the progression of re their renal disease, keep them off dialysis, the, the, the benefit is huge and the impact for the individual patient is, is huge. So delaying all of that by seeing the right people at the right time is the key to all of this.